Hello, everyone. Uh, today I'm very, very excited because my interview partner is uh, Jens Lee, the Vice President of uh, Product Creative at Jimdo, and he's going to talk to us today about his growth journey uh, within Jimdo. Uh, hello, Jan. How are you? Hi, Maria. Nice to see you. I'm really good, excited about the interview. I'm excited as well. Uh, let's jump directly to the first question. And I would like to ask you if you can briefly talk to us about your growth journey within Jim to the last couple of years. Yeah, my, my growth journey at Jim started actually in 2011. Um, so when I was 22, um, I started here as an intern. I was studying media design and I was here to write my bachelor thesis and I was doing um, many different jobs as a designer in product and marketing teams. And throughout the years, Jindu was growing. Product, customers, headcount as well. So there were many, many opportunities um, to grow. So my career transitioned from design to product management and various um, leadership roles in like head of roles for product and strategy and user experience. But at some point I laid all my responsibilities down and I created with less than a handful of people a new product from scratch. Um, that was a like big change in my career, um, but that led to a product um, that is influencing our business strategy at the moment. And today, like you said, I'm the VP Pro Creative looking after user experience, um, with the design team and product, with user research to deeply understand customer needs, uh, but also running a few of our products myself. Wow. Uh, for me, this is what I call like a long and very, very, very successful journey. Wow, uh, amazing. And I'm sure that you have achieved a lot of stuff. What would be maybe your greatest career accomplishment so far that you are most proud of? Yeah, that's. That's an interesting question because there are many things over the past 11 years, but something that's outstanding for me was, um, I was asked to build this product from scratch, a smart website builder that empowers small businesses to achieve professional results and was back in 2017. Um, and our CEO and COO asked me to lay down all my responsibilities to do that. And I said, no because it felt like really a threat to my career. I was running product and engineering at that time. Um, and then starting with a small team, I said, no. But, and it took me then a couple of days to realize that actually that it might be the biggest career opportunity in front of me and the biggest opportunity for me to contribute to this business. Um, because I think it's very rare that you get um, asked to build a product from scratch for a company. So um, I think my biggest accomplishment was building this product, but also recognizing the opportunity that I had in front of me. Wow. And thank you very much for doing that and having this product today. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, but I'm also sure that at some point you had to face challenges. I'm sure about that. Do you remember like a very specific challenge that was really difficult to overcome, but at the end you managed to do so? Hmm. I get that question a lot just because of that, uh, because I'm so long here. Um, and like any other company, there are good times and bad times. Like it's very natural, but that's just life. Um, but there was a time actually when um, I felt that my ideas weren't heard anymore. I felt that the impact that I wanted to have and that I used to have and my expertise were not leading to the business impact that I think they should. Um, so this was going on for a couple of months and I was so puzzled because I didn't understand what, why and what changed. Um, but my coach and mentor, she helped me understand and realize that I needed to change my way of communicating. Um, and she helped me understand the value of tailored messaging to your audience. Might sound very obvious to people who see this interview, but for me, it was, um, a big learning to understand that I need to change my um, communication when I talk to my peers, to my reports, um, to senior leadership. Some like data, some like spreadsheets, some like rough ideas and concepts, some like well-prepared slide decks. Um, so since I'm doing that, my meetings are much, much more powerful and the impact that I want to have, I have. So if 
anything like an advice I can give to people who see this is think about your audience and their style of communication. Nice. Jan, thank you very, very much for this insight. And I think this can be a great advice and a great learning for a lot of us. And with that, I'm coming to my final question. What's the next big thing for you? Uh, next big thing. There, there are many things that I look forward to, but actually uh, something that is driving my motivation and my passion for Jimdo is the mission that we're on. Unleashing the power of small businesses and help them thrive. Uh, because I believe small businesses are a great, great contributor to our society, but yet overseen by software companies like us. But um, we want to help them understand and manage their business so that they can achieve the success they are looking for. So there, for us, it means there will be many new products and features coming up. And I can't wait to release those to our, our customers to see what they do out of it and how they make them more successful. Nice. I think we are all looking forward to it. Uh, thank you very, very much for taking the time and walking us through uh, your career journey within Jimdo. It was amazing to have this call with you. And uh, thank you very much again. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Mariela.